Hey, what's up, y'all? We're back with another one. Let's check this clip out. Cool. Behind Muhammad Ali when the government came after him. Didn't you notice that OJ wasn't there? He wanted no parts of it. He wanted no parts of standing up for our community, for his own. That's the brother you getting on me about? You Faison Love, you Willie D. That's why you coming at me? Cause of OJ? Really? I'm like, you gotta be me. He in. So you know you talking about this, but listen, my woman's fine with me, bro. I don't roll like that. What you worried about my hair do for? That's all right, that's fine. You know, but but I'm like, you 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 coming at me and it's like, you know, Sambo, Steven from Django. You know, Uncle Tom, like, really? You know, I'm just, I'm sitting there and I could, I could, I could have got medieval. You know, I really could. Mm -hmm. I could have called these cats out because you got to remember, you can think you're going to have the last word with me. Good luck with that if I want, if I really, really want to. But they never have to worry about me having to have the last word with them because, frankly, they don't matter that much to me. But we come out with these names and there are NBA players who facilitated this kind of thinking about me. I know who they are, UD. I know who they are. Mm. And you got some professional athletes because they haven't liked the things that I've said and they facilitate those things about me. You see, you want to create this narrative to distract people from the real subject at hand. Mm. And I'm smart enough to know that. Mm. But I'm also decent enough to not want to turn it into a back and forth, a personal text. Because you see, I want Willie D to succeed. Yeah. And I want Faze on Love to succeed. Yeah. And I want I want them all to succeed. I'm not a brother that roots for failures in my community. I'm not that guy. And I'm looking at it and I'm like, I'm an ambassador for HBCU Week. I've assisted, whether it's CP3, whether it's ESPN, whether it's TNT, whether it's the NBA, whether it's the NFL with Troy Vincent and others. I've helped raise $87 million in scholarships. Wow. I reach back to help folks all the time. In our profession, point a black person or anybody that has come up to me and asked me for my assistance. I, everybody's been handpicked by me. And then on top of it all, you would come at me like this. And I'm going to tell you something, and I ain't say publicly, but I'm going to say this now. You think I haven't noticed that the steam has elevated since everybody knows my contract's coming up. <laughs> you think I'm that stupid? You think I don't know what they're trying to do? What these cats are trying to do is trying to bait me. So I will do something stupid. Nah. So it will get in the way of my dollars. Nah. Now, it's as obvious as the sky is blue on a sunny day in Miami. But here's the real question. Why would you want to do that? I was just going to say, why would you? Why? I've been number one for 12 years in the morning on first take. In terms of ratings and revenue, I've been the number one talent for a decade. All of this money, I'm not talking, this ain't about ESPN. This is about the cats coming at me. ESPN and I, we gonna work out what we gonna work out and we not gonna work out what we don't work out but there's no animosity or anything. I got great relationships with them yes. they got a great relationship with me whatever we work out we work out I'm talking about the cynics and the critics yes as much as I work along with the results I provide hey what's up y'all I want to thank you so much for tapping with me make sure to click the link in my description to claim your 30k bonus once you start trading if you start trading and deposit money, you will get a 30K bonus. You can start with, for example, $50, $100, $200. As soon as you start trade and deposit money, you will get your 30K bonus. And you can take that money and make even more money. So in this clip I'll show y'all, I wanna give a big shout out to the OG's podcast and also Stephen A. Smith. And Stephen A. Smith once again decided to call out Face on Love, the comedian, and also Willie D, the former rapper, who has a big YouTube channel nowadays. They've been going back and forth for the past couple of days because Stephen A. Smith decided to call out the BT Awards for actually honoring OJ Simpson. And when Face and Love and Willie D caught wind of this, they decided to go nuclear on Stephen A. Smith. They decided to go back and forth 
And I actually have to say that I like Stephen A. Smith, but I agree with Face of Love and Willie D because O.J. Simpson, he was a good man and he was acquitted of all the charges that he had against him. So why is it that every time a black man is accused of something, even though a black man gets acquitted, he's still guilty in the public? That is crazy. O.J. Simpson was not found guilty and that is the end of the story when it comes to that. So I actually think that, you know, in this case, Stephen Smith is wrong and right now he's going through rigorous negotiations when it comes to his upcoming contract. They are willing to give him $80 million, but he wants $23 million and I actually hope that Stephen Smith will get his $23 million because he's a talented sports analyst. So make sure that you subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.